answer the phone? When the city of Stratford was attacked, their, the alarms actually went off early in the morning and notified both their IT people as well as city staff, who then responded and, and started looking into what was going on with their servers. The IT guys and the, and the city staff worked away to, to figure out how, much, how big was the problem that they had. And once they eventually realized that they were into a, into a ransomware type situation, they contacted their lawyer and they contacted us as their insurance broker. We then put them in touch with their insurer's crisis 800 number um, and, the, and the insurer takes over working with them and providing a, a lot of advice and guidance throughout the process. That's a great question about cyber insurance. Um, there's no specific data on municipalities or governments as to what they have for cyber insurance, but the latest StatsCan survey showed that only 24% of large corporations carry cyber insurance, only 17% of medium-sized businesses, and only 7% of small businesses actually carry cyber insurance. Cyber insurance is something that every organization, government, corporation, needs to start looking at. In fact, even some homeowners are now offering cyber insurance on their homeowner's policy. Uh, cyber attacks, ransom attacks are becoming so prevalent that it's you know, the old adage of the two things you want to avoid are death and taxes is becoming the three things are death, taxes, and the cyber attack. It's interesting that all the statistics show that a ransomware attacks is a multi-billion dollar industry. However, the ransoms being paid are only a multi-million dollar industry. The costs are really incurred when hiring the cybersecurity firms to try and figure out how did the attack happen? Where was the weakness of the vulnerability? And then to fix that hole. But then they've got to turn around and start either, either restoring the data if they can or rebuilding the data. That's actually a much bigger part, or the, the much bigger cost of, the, of an incident rather than just the ransom piece if the ransom's actually paid. Um, on top of that, you've got uh, legal bills because lawyers are always involved in this. And then there's usually consulting firms where you've got the, the public relation consultant that, can, that helps the municipality through the process. Um, it's, it's amazing how big the rest of the claim is versus the, the, how small the ransom piece can be. So there's four key parts to a cyber insurance policy. The first is the, uh, is the security and privacy liability piece. Uh, which is if you get sued for the data that you lose or if you've got to monitor somebody's um, credit score or um, all of that part of the liability portion. The next is the, the network interruption or business interruption piece because the businesses are often completely shut down when they have a cyber attack and they lose a lot of business. It can become very expensive. Um, the third is the event management, and that's the one people don't think about. And that's where we had talked about hiring your public relations consultant, paying for your lawyer, paying for that cybersecurity expert to come in and, and fix your network, which can take weeks or months for some organizations. And then the final part is, is that ransomware piece. If the ransom is actually paid, it, it's paid out under that portion.